Welcome to Euro Bangla City SCTV News. This is Nuri Alamin with the headlines. 16 agitating students of South hospitalized as hunger strike enters day 4, demanding BC's resignation. Civil committee found evidence against 12 people, including four government officials and four owners of the launch MB of Vision 10 fire. At least seven people died and 15 others injured after a major fire broke out in 20-story building in South Mumbai today. Hunger strike of the students of Shah Jalal University of Science and Technology sourced demanding resignation of Vice Chancellor Professor Farid Uddin Ahmed has entered their fourth day. A number of 16 students have been hospitalized where many others have fallen sick. The demonstrators are adamant to continue the hunger strike until resignation of the VC. Meanwhile, the agitating students requested the government authorities, especially Education Minister Dr. Dipomoni, to visit the South campus, see the situation and take some necessary steps. The 24 students embarked on first until death on Wednesday afternoon, demanding the resignation of the Vice Chancellor. A form to the probe MB Avijan 10 fire on Shugonda River in Chalukati has found evidence against 12 people, including four government officials and four owners of the launch. Ashish Kumar Day, chief coordinator of the Pro body, disclosed the information at a press briefing held in Dhaka Reporters Unity Auditorium this morning. The committee also placed 25 recommendations during the press conference. The recommendations include not only the owner, master and driver of the launch must be brought to justice, but all those involved in the tragedy have to be punished too. Oscar-winning Hollywood uh, lister Leonardo DiCaprio has congratulated the government of Bangladesh and other relevant stakeholders for establishing a marine protected area around St. Martin's Island. Taking to his verified Twitter account, DiCaprio said that this move will safeguard the biodiversity in the significant area. He congrats the government of Bangladesh, local communities and NGOs on a newly established marine protected area around St. Martin's Island that will protect an incredible community of biodiversity and provide key evidence for Bangladesh only coral reef. He also shared a photograph crediting Wildlife Conservation Society showcasting the picture queue view of the mansion area. Film actress Porimoni and her husband Shoriful Raj, also an actor, celebrated Gaya Holud, one of the wedding ceremonies on Friday. The couple currently expecting a baby where they retorted at a low-key event at home on October 17 on last year. They had an affair while working on Ganin, a film directed by Gyashuddin Selim. Porimoni shared the joy of her Gaya Holud ceremony with her fans by sharing photos of the event on Facebook. Families of the new couple, relatives and friends attended the Gai Holut ceremony of Porimoni and Shariful Raj on Friday. The pair announced their marriage on January 10 after the news of Porimoni expecting a baby spread. Viewers, we're taking a short break. Stay with Iro Bangla City, SCTV News. Welcome back and you are watching Euro Bangla City SATV News. Now we bring you the international story updates. And starting with a shocking story from India. At least seven people died and 15 others were injured after a major fire broke out in 20-story building in South Mumbai on Saturday. The incident took place around 7.30 a.m. on the 18th floor of the Kamola building located in the Tardius Nana Chok. The fire was designated as a level 3 fire, 14 other injured and rushed to the nearby Bhatia Hospital. Two were sent in a Kasurba Hospital. The fire broke out in one of the flats in the residential building. The fire is under control but yet to be fully doused. Over 100 people have been killed and injured after 
An airstrike by the Saudi-led coalition hit a detention center in northern Yemen on Friday. The Red Cross confirmed. The incident happened in the northern city of Sada, a stronghold of Iran-backed Houthi rebels who have been waging a war against the Saudi-backed government for the several years, reports DW.com. The intense campaign comes after Iran-backed Houthis claimed a drone and missile attack that struck inside in United Arab Emirates capital earlier in the week. A major escalation in the conflict in Yemen where the Saudi-led coalition backed by the UAE has battled the rebels since 2015. The European Union said it was re-establishing a physical presence in Afghanistan for humanitarian purposes, but strip it was not formally recognizing the Taliban-led administration. It was the first such announcement by a Western power since the 27 nation EU, and many governments withdraw staff and diplomats from Afghanistan. As Kabul fell to the hard line, Taliban last August, a Taliban foreign ministry spokesman had earlier said in a tweet that its official had reached an understanding with the European Union, which had officially opened its embassy with a permanent presence and Kabul and practically commenced the operations as well. Meanwhile, the group's top spokesperson told international media that Taliban's first official talks with the West on European soil since the seizing power in Afghanistan will help to transform an atmosphere of war after the two decades insurgency against the NATO forces. Washington and Moscow's top diplomats agreed to keep working to ease the tensions over Ukrainian with the United States promising a written response to the Russian security requirement next week and not ruling out a presidential meeting as well. The leaders met for the 90 minutes. Neva, the Russian foreign minister said the later that in his talks with Blinken, Lavrov had warned the most serious consequences if Washington kept ignoring Moscow security demands. Antony Blinken told the reporters no major breakouts had been expected, but he believed that two sides were now on a clear path to understanding each other's concern and positions. He expected to share with Russia their concern and ideas in more detail in writing next week. Followed by the further discussions, speaking separately, Lavrov told the reporters Antony Blinken agreed that we need to have a reasonable dialogue and I hope emotions will decrease. Law enforcement agencies launched search operations across the Lahore and picked up some suspects over their alleged involvement in Thursday's bomb blast in Anarkoli market. Raids were carried out by joint teams of the Counterterrorism Department, CTD, a police and other LEAS on the basis of the intelligence report about the movement of the facilitators and handlers of the terrorist attack. Officials said the law enforcers got some important leads through the call record data and footage from the CCTV cameras installed in the Bajar and the roads leading to is as well as the areas. Three people were killed and over 30 others injured in a bomb blast at the crowded farm Monday of the new Anarkoli Bajar on Thursday noon. The CTD registered a case on charges of murder, attempted murder and anti-terrorism. A man was sentenced to one year imprisonment and a fine of 10,000 rupees by the Guzwanwala Anti-Terrorism Code for justifying the killing of a Sri Lankan citizen on social media and inciting religious sentiments. Priyantha Kumara, a Sri Lankan citizen general manager of the Rasko Industry and Garments Factory, was lynched by a move at the factory on December 3, 2021, on the Wazirabad Road in Sialkot, convict Muhammad Adnan, 27, a Nizampur of Sialkot, uploaded a video on his YouTube channel of the murder of Priyantha and justified the killing and burning of the body. On December 5, on the request of Assistant Sub-Inspector Mubarak Ali, an FIR was registered against Adnan in Rangpura Police Station for spreading religious hearted and inciting public sentiments. For the first time, kidneys from a genetically modified pig have been successfully 
transplanted into a human. Researchers at University of Alabama and Birmingham successfully carried out the transplant in late September. The kidneys remained functional in the abdomen of the brain-dead men for the 77 hours until they were removed. The results of the experiment were reported in the American Journal of the Transplantation on Thursday. The producers of an upcoming Ski-Fi movie starring Tom Cruise have announced plans to build a production studio in space. The producers of an upcoming Skifoy movie starring from the cruise have announced plan to build a production studio in space. On Thursday, UK-based studio Space Entertainment Enterprise said it plans to build the studio and sports arena in collaboration with Axiom, a US-based space infrastructure developer. Planned for the completion in December 2024, the studio will be attached to the International Space Station. In its press release, Space International Entertainment Enterprise said the studio will also be available to individual content creators who want to film and live stream in space. Priyanka Chopra Jonas and her husband Nick Jonas announced on their Instagram pages Friday that they welcomed their first child together. She said a surrogate gave birth to the couple's baby on January 15. They are overjoyed to confirm that we have welcomed a baby by a surrogate in the couple's statement said, but they did not reveal their baby's name and sex and asked for the privacy during this special time as they focus on family. The couple had been dropping lists about their future plans all the long Chopra had told the media in January 2021 that she wanted a large family. Kumilla Victorians beat Silet Sunrises by two wickets in a low-scoring match during Bangladesh Premier League at Shere Bangla National Stadium at Mirpur. Chasing 97 runs, Kumilla needed to face 18.4 overs to chase down the target. Mahidul Islam Ankon played passionately to reach the target after Mahidul Islam was dismissed for 16. Nazmul Islam was the peak of the bowling attack for Silet. As they took three wickets, Nazmul's spell brought Silet back to the game. However, Trailanders kept in the never than the match seemed heated to the tight finish and Kumila owned the match. Before ending, we go through Ido Bangla City SATV News headlines again. 16 agitating students of SARS hospitalized as hunger strike enters day 4, demanding VC's resignation. Civil Committee found evidence against 12 people, including 4 government officials and 4 owners of the launch MV Avijan 10 fire. At least seven people died and 15 others injured after a major fire broke out in 20-story building in South Mumbai today. You are up to date with the Euro Bangla City SATV News. And to know the latest news, visit www.sctv.tv. Stay with SATV.